everybody, it's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Thanks for tuning in. Today, what I wanna show you is a really fun, simple activity that you can do with things that you probably have in your kitchen cupboards. What we're gonna start with is just some really easy materials. Kids, ask your parents to hold on to their coffee grounds. In this cup, I have about a cup, a cup of coffee grounds. Here I have half a cup of just leftover coffee. You wanna make sure it's cold before you use it. Here we have just a, a cup of regular old plain white flour, and here a half a cup of salt. Off to the side are some fun toys that we'll talk about in just a minute. I've got my mixing bowl, handy dandy spoon, and some wax paper also. We're gonna make this fossil dough, and to start we're gonna add our cup of coffee grounds. Get them all in there. I'm gonna add our white flour, our salt, and our half a cup of coffee. And then we're just gonna start mixing this all together here. And gonna mix it all up. It kind of looks a little chunky to start, but the more you work it and knead it, it's gonna come together. Anymore. You gotta reach in and you gotta get hands on. Parents, this is a really fun activity. You can practice that M in STEM, right? The math, doing the fractions and the measuring at the end. You just wanna work this dough. Mine's a little sticky, so we're gonna grab a little bit more flour from my bag over here, just to help absorb a little bit of that extra water. Sprinkle that in right on top. And again, kind of just using your hands to knead the dough together. All right, everybody. So as you continue to mix your fossil dough in your bowl, you're going to keep adding more flour, bringing that mixture together. As you can see, my mixture has really come together. I have nothing left in my bowl, just this really great ball of fossil dough. This is a perfect consistency to work with. What you want to do next is roll out a little piece. You can use a rolling pin, just push it down with your hand. Whatever you have handy, we'll just roll this out a little bit here. The best part about this fossil dough is that if you leave it out overnight, it's gonna actually dry and harden, just kind of like a real fossil, which is pretty neat. So I've got my piece rolled out here. I brought some dinosaur friends from the museum with me. Something you can try is creating a, a trace fossil. You can just press his little feet right down here like this, and you can see the footprints that are left behind. In real life, what we often find are trace fossils imprints of that an animal or plant was in that area previously. Another really cool thing to do, if you happen to have a seashell laying around, maybe from a trip to the beach a while ago, let me use this one here, you can just roll your seashell, really get those textures and that ridges right into your fossil dough. As that dries, you'll see that these ridges, this texture will really come through. Thanks so much for joining me in making fossil dough today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Allison from the Rochester Museum and Science Center and we'll see you next time.